It's rugby and defeat for England in their opening Five Nations match against France this afternoon. The French scored two tries and could have had more as well as they ran out winners by 24 to 17 in Paris. The England captain Lawrence Delalio called it a bad day at the office. A new Five Nations era for both sides, a new French stadium, a new look team and new English management. And at first it looked like the French who were suffering first night nerves as Paul Grayson kicked England into a three point lead. But their game then fell apart under pressure from a revitalised home side. Philippe bernet salle capped his return to the international side with the first try at the Stade de France. And France continued their domination, consistently robbing England of possession before Glass and Sadenay showed the slick handling England had been lacking and Dominici carved through to score. The second half started as had the first with a Grayson penalty. Though England's recovery was momentarily stopped in its tracks when Castagnier pulled off a trademark drop goal. But having rediscovered their shape and discipline, England were right back in it when a drive upfield ended in a surging try, credited to Neil Back. Grayson missed the conversion, but a penalty ten minutes later reduced the gap to just four points. The French responded with a drive of their own, and though their massed ranks threatened a score, Back's tremendous defending denied them, and they had to settle for a Le Maison penalty. England's David Rees looked to be on for the try that they needed to stay in touch, but a suspiciously high tackle and a dangerous follow-up denied him. Another Grayson penalty briefly gave England hope, but Sadene's drop goal widened the gap, and in the dying seconds, it was France who looked the fresher. And though Glass failed to get the score, it's England's hopes that were shattered. Kerry Dyson, Sky News.